Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm going to take you from 0 to 5 miles per hour using the Git version control system. Okay, so the reason you're probably watching this video is, number one, you want to learn how to snapshot all of your work without having to email copies of your code every single time you make a change. And number two, you want to put your work up on GitHub, so that way you can show off all your code and brag to all your friends and all that kind of stuff. And you can do all of that pretty much with just these six commands right here. This is going to be like 95% of what you do using Git. And I'm assuming two things. I'm assuming you already have a program that ready to go that you want to put up on GitHub. And also that you have a GitHub account created. And here I have a program called hello.py. But first, we're going to initialize this folder with git. So we're going to type git in it. All right. So then we got this message, initialized empty git repository. Now let's type git status. And all this stuff may sound or look kind of confusing at first. But I think it's better just to go through the motions and then we can figure out what all the details are. So right now it's just saying that we have a file called hello.py. It's not keeping up with the, what kind of changes are happening or what kind of changes we made to the file. And this, when we typed in git status, it tells us, see how it's highlighted in red? It means it's untracked. So what we want to do is we want to add this file. So now we're going to type git add. Oh, whoops. Git add file name. So now when we type git status, now it's saying that we have this file, hello.py, that's ready to be committed. Now we're going to commit it. We're going to say git commit dash m and then a commit message. So I'm going to say initial commit. Now when I type git log, here's the commit message right here, initial commit. And there's the timestamp right here. Notice how it has the date, the time, all that stuff. And then for the last step, which is number six, which is git push u origin master, I'll explain what I'm doing with that here in a second. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto my GitHub account, right? And I'm going to create a new repository by clicking this plus sign. And then I'm going to select new repository. The repository name, I'm going to call it test python repo okay so now I'm gonna create the repository notice there's a bunch of stuff right here that's telling you what to do this is actually really important and this is how you're gonna actually put your code up on github since we already have an existing repository we're gonna use this middle part right here so I'm going to copy this right here. I'm going I'm to copy this line. It says git remote add origin. I'm going to right click copy. Now I'm going to paste it. See how I copied and pasted this line. It's the same line from the GitHub page. Hit enter. Now what I'm going to do is this, this final line right here, the git push u origin master, so what this is going to do is this is going to actually push your code onto this GitHub website. So let's go back to the terminal and we're going to type git push dash u origin master. Right here it's going to ask for your username on GitHub. The username is what you created when you signed up to GitHub, but mine is csanchez256 or 2 to the 8th power. <laughs> now it's going to ask me for my password and again I set that up when I created my GitHub account. Awesome. Here's a bunch of stuff that's happening in the background. You don't really need to understand what any of this means. Now when I go back to my 
GitHub repository. I'm going to refresh this page. All right, and here it is. Here's my code. Here's the hello.py, and here's the commit message that I did. So when I click on this right here, here's the source code. It's the same exact source code that I was working on locally on my computer right here. See? And now, since this is a public repository, anyone can just go to my, my repo and look at the source code. And they can contribute to this code if they even want to. And that's the whole idea. So it's all like open source here, so you can actually see the source code openly. Okay, just to avoid any confusion and to be as clear as possible, this is the workflow that you're going to be doing most of the time when you're using Git. You have an empty, you have a folder that you have a program in. Well, first you want to initialize it with Git in it. Then you want to check the status of this text file or this program that you're writing. Then you want to add this file by typing git add. Because if it's not, if you don't add it first, it's being untracked. So if you want it to keep up with all the changes that you're doing, you want to add these changes. Then the actual commit part. This is like the big thing. This is a big deal here. You want to commit your changes so that way you have a snapshot of everything. So if you mess up and you want to go back in time and to a to an earlier stage, like if you made some changes and broke your program, once you commit something and you put your commit message in, it's in there. You can't get rid of it. It's it, there there is a snapshot of all your changes and you can always fall back on that if you need to. And you could see all of your commits by typing git log git log is going to have a whole list of all your changes and snapshots and if you want a simple more readable version of it then you just do git log dash dash one line and then when you're ready to put up all your code onto github you do git push u origin master this is the basic workflow right here I hope this video helps if you liked it please click the thumbs up button or subscribe to my channel have a good day